why the narcissist stops having sex with you. Narcissists are very manipulative. They do this to everyone. When you first meet them, they love bomb you. In that moment, you are perfect. They worship you. They compliment and praise you. They fulfill all of your sexual needs. And they let you fulfill theirs. Many of you may even be convinced that the best sex you ever had was with the narcissist. But it's toxic. It's harmful to you. It kills you inside, especially when they start to devalue you. When they start to take everything away. When they no longer desire you anymore. When they begin to despise you. That's when they take intimacy and sex away. They no longer kiss you. And you notice that they're disengaging from you. They're never in the mood to have sex. But when they first met you, they trained you to believe that they want to have sex every day. But despite that, you choose to tolerate it because it's not all about sex. You love them. You care about them. You assume that they must be going through a difficult time. But as time goes by, nothing changes. It just gets worse. It begins to irritate you because you're unable to change it. And you would think that somewhere inside of them is this desire for you. But they don't seem to have any interest in you at all because you're no longer this person that they've compartmentalized as their sexual object. Now they're sexualizing other people. They're desiring other people. You no longer fit into that role or category. They don't see you in that way anymore. And they will even put this stuff in your face. They will show you pictures of other people people that they are fantasizing about. In the same way that they used to do for you. But when you see this, it should start to make more sense. They're manipulating you. They're playing with your emotions. They're stripping you of sex and intimacy and watching you still continue to support them and remaining in the relationship, which makes them feel powerful. Because now, rather than being a partner in a sexual or romantic relationship, you're just a provider. You're just providing something to them. You're just giving them what they need while they continue to lust over other people people who aren't doing anything for them and you're not getting anything in return because they're not bringing anything to the relationship they blinded you with sex in the beginning 
they use it to deprive you of your understanding, judgment and perception. So you paid little attention to their bad behaviour. You let it slide. But now you're watching this video. Because you've had enough. You don't want to deal with it anymore. But not everyone comes to this conclusion. Many victims choose to remain in the relationship for years after they've been stripped of sex. And it just becomes normal to them. They may even begin to lie to themselves and believe that their relationship is better without sex to justify the narcissist's behavior. But this is all a part of the trap. The narcissist's behavior is normal for them. There's nothing wrong with you. This is just what narcissists do. They will try to make you think that you're crazy, but you need to wake up. They're already fantasizing about other people and they may already have someone else lined up, which is why they have no desire to touch you. When the narcissist stops having sex with you, you may try harder to please them. You may try to understand them. You may try to win back their love and attention. But it never works. Because they already know what they're doing. And that's exactly what they want you to do. It causes you to suffer and it makes them feel powerful. It gives them a narcissistic supply. But they're fantasizing about other people. They don't care about you. They have that uncontrollable desire for someone else now. You're garbage. You're nothing. But you may choose to remain in the relationship because you're under their spell. You're so attracted and interested in them that you cannot think about anything else. You will do whatever they want. It's like a drug and you're addicted. You have no control over yourself. Because they have infected you with this drug. And that is why you have stayed in the relationship for such a long time. Even though your needs were not fulfilled. Even though they were treating you in an inconsiderate and exploitative manner. While you were being very careful not to offend or upset them. And you were not having sex. When the narcissist stops having sex with you, the only thing you can control is yourself. The only thing you can do is go no contact because they're not going to change. Why would they change when they're still getting what they want? You're still providing to them while they're not giving anything to you. So there's no incentive for them to change. But even when you go no contact, you shouldn't desire for them to return and give you what you want. Because they're just going to play that same game again. It's going to be another rerun, another cycle. You have to cut them off completely. Because once you do that, you can start healing from this. You can start becoming stronger. Yeah. 
You can't heal when they're constantly showing you pictures of the people they're fantasizing about. If the narcissist is doing that, they're already cheating on you. It's emotional cheating. So you might as well go and have sex with someone else because the relationship is already over. They have no respect for you if they're doing that. The relationship is over if they're doing that. So go and get your needs met with someone else. It may give you the power you need to leave them before they leave you. Because if they discard you first, it's going to destroy you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.